Hi everyone, my name is Brandon. Um, and hopefully today I'll give you a good overview of what Olbers paradox is, right? So this is an astrophysics paradox. And it really asks the question as to why the sky is dark at night. And if you've never heard of this paradox or its solution, I think you're in for a treat. Because the first time I learned it, blew my mind, changed the way I look at the night sky forever. And it was one of the big reasons um, I studied astrophysics in college. So before we actually get into um, Olbers paradox, we need a little bit of background. Here's a fact, hopefully it's not mind blowing. The universe is infinite. Doesn't matter whether or not you believe it, it's a fact, the universe is infinite. So what does this mean for what we wanna actually know? Well, pick a direction in the sky, right? There's a direction, nothing special about it. Keep looking in that direction. The universe is infinite. You can travel as far as you want in that direction. Because we can travel as far as we want, we'll eventually run into a star. You might say, what if we don't run into a star? Well, then keep going, it's infinite. Right? Keep going until you find a star, you'll find one, right? Pick another direction, do the same thing, right? Again, universe is infinite. You can go as far as you want. Eventually you'll run into a star. And you can do that again and again and again. And so with every direction and any direction that we choose in the night sky, if you go far enough, you will run into a star as a consequence of the fact that the universe is infinite. So I'd say, okay, great, big deal, right? This is actually a big paradox, right? So where does the paradox come in? Well, this is what the night sky looks like. That shouldn't surprise anybody. But if you do the math, if there were a star along every single point that you could, or in every single direction that you could point out in the sky, the night sky, the entirety of it would be as bright as the sun. So it would look like this. Obviously this isn't what the night sky looks like, right? We do not see a star in every single direction. Even with our best telescopes, it's just not the case. And this is Olber's paradox. If there's a night, if, sorry, if there's a, a star in every direction, why can't we see them? Why is the night sky dark? So what's the solution, right? And this is a part of the story that blows my mind. The first, one of the first recorded solutions that we have in history, right? Jump scare warning, none other than Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe figured out this paradox before most major physicists and ast astronomers did. And he wrote this in his Eureka prose poem. He said, the only mode, therefore, in which under such a state of affairs, we could comprehend the voids which our telescopes find in innumerable directions would be by supposing the distance of the invisible background so immense that no ray from it has yet been able to reach us at all. Great, that's what he said. Let's decode exactly what that means and how this solves this paradox. So what Poe over here is saying, he's saying, look, let's say a star has formed in the universe. There it is, right? There's a star, it just formed. Its light is beginning to travel towards us here on Earth. And what Poe says, he says, look, this star is so far away, so far away that it would take the light 16 billion years to reach us. And what Poe realized, of all people, what Poe realized, what if the universe isn't 16 billion years old yet? Meaning it would take the light so long to reach us that the universe isn't even old enough for the light to have reached us yet. And it turns out, this is the solution. This is exactly what happens. Everywhere you look, there is a star there. It just hasn't been enough time for the star's light to reach us, right? So to nail in the point a little bit more, here's the diagram we had before. Like I said, there's, there is a star there in every direction. But some of those stars are so far away that the light hasn't even had time to reach us. And that's a solution of the paradox. It's might say, okay, great. It's a pretty cool paradox, pretty cool solution, right? But why did this blow my mind? Why did this blow my mind? What's so amazing about this? Well, here's a picture of the night sky. I don't know, tonight, go outside. It's dark for some of you. Go outside, look at this, and choose a dark spot. There's a dark spot, right? I just told you, the reason you don't see a star there is because the light hasn't reached us yet. But then what are you seeing then? If you're not seeing a star, then, if you're not seeing a star, then what are you seeing? And what blows my mind every time I look at the night sky is you're seeing the universe as it was in the past millions of years before stars even form, right? When you look up at the night sky, you're looking at the most expansive and in-depth history book you'll ever read. It's incredible. You're seeing the universe before stars even form, right? And that blows my mind. And on top of that, you're seeing proof that the universe had a beginning, that the universe has only been around for a finite amount of time, meaning you're seeing proof of the Big Bang, right? That's it. This all started at a certain point in time. 
that blows my mind, right? I remember when my uh, professor, it was a professor uh, that was teaching national physics class. He, he showed us this and he left us with this final point. And he said, sometimes it is in darkness that we find the most precious truths and beauties. And I was stunned. It was by that point, I knew I wanted to study astrophysics and it was done. And that's it. That's all I have to say about Olber's paradox.